In today's video, we'll be going over the controls for the TDAC and the DCS Apache. I know I'm late to the hype train, but apparently everyone on YouTube is a real-life Apache pilot now. Uh, that's just some small banter. Don't take it seriously if you are or not. It's just a joke. Uh, so the purpose of the video is just to address a simple way to map the controls for the TDAC or gunner hand station for the front seat of the Apache. Uh, there are big names all over the DCS community and the YouTube community saying that the Xbox controller is the way to go. Honestly, after doing about a week or so of trial and error with my own Xbox controller setup, it just wasn't ergonomically proficient. So instead, I found a better way to map it to my HOTAS and figured out to put the information out there for others that, that might have similar issues. So enjoy. Before we actually get started in the HOTAS portion, I'm going to show you my Xbox controller. This was my setup for the Xbox controller. It doesn't look bad until you actually look at it and you're like, wow, that got cluttered real quick. Um, you start doing your modifiers, your left hand grip and your right hand grip modifier, then you combine modifiers. It just wasn't proficient. There will be times during like the middle of an engagement, I'll be like, hey, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Let me look at my controls. And yeah, <laughs> that situation alone is not good at all to be in. Then, like, say I wanted to pan a little bit right with the pads, I'll hit right stick and then I'll just keep drifting. It's like, yeah, that's not what I want. So I found a better way to do this, which I'm about to show you guys. All right, so how are you going to do this? You're going to go to modifiers. So this actual modifiers, you're going to go to switches. What this does, it literally turns the control switches on and off. So, for example, in the front seat, I have 13 selected. This is going to be my tat or my T deck. Uh, or my gunner hand station so that controls are all set up for the gunner hand station I'm killing targets say my buddy Hooters in the backseat flying he's like hey I need to take a leak can you take controls I request controls he gives it to me I flip it over to 14 and now my controls are instantly set to my pilot stick and I'm flying from the front seat like I would be in the backseat just with my pilot controls he comes back he's like hey I, can, I got control again I go back to 13 and then I'm instantly back on the TDAC, killing targets. It's that simple. I don't know why anyone's talking about it, but here you go. You're welcome. All right, so how do you set it up? Say this for example, you're going to go to modifiers. We know 13 of 14 is my switch. Say it's a TDAC uh, modifier, we're going to go 13, whatever it is, and then you hit OK, and now that's set up for your TDAC. All right, before we actually get started, on the left side, it's going to be my HOTAS control setup, and then on the right side will be the TDAC uh, HOTAS or TDAC control setup. So if you want to map it to whatever one possible or get an idea how to map it, there you go. And then if there's something I need is like a, a visualization demonstration, so like say FLIR or TV mode, I'll show you a quick video what that control does as well. All right. One last disclaimer, I have a Thrustmaster Warhawk, so I might be able to buy more than you, you might be able to buy more than me. Whatever the situation is, again, KISS method, keep it simple, stupid, don't overcomplicate it, make it easy so you can be able to get rounds on target and, and be proficient. Alright, so as actually get started, make sure you got CPG selected, let's go to TDAC. TDAC is selected, now you notice there's a bunch of controls here, not just what I have, but in general. I have what you need uh, to be proficient. So I'm going to flip my switch to 13, which is TDAC. Now we're going to go my left hand grip first. We're going to go field of views right here. All right, so we got wide, which is going to be your default zoomed out view. Then we're going to go M for medium, which is going to be your next level of zoom. Narrow, which is even more of a zoom. And then finally, zoom, which is fully zoomed in. Next is going to be your cursor enter. So cursor enter, this is pretty much your M MPD or MFD cursor moving around the screen, then whatever you want to select, you hit enter. Honestly, I don't use it that often. All right, next is going to be store. So this is really important to have as a gunner. So say you find a SAM site, you want to store the target location, you hit store, you want to keep panning across looking for like a different lo or a different target, then you want to go back to that store target, you go on MPD, find your store location, hit that, hit slave, and you're back on the store. Uh, target you, that you stored. FCR, fire control radar, this is not in the game yet, but when it gets in the game, it will be there. So we have single and continuous. Uh, this is pretty much activating and deactivating the FCR transmission. All right, now we got TAD sensor select. This is going to be your FLIR and TV mode. So FLIR, forward looking infrared. So you would use this at nighttime to find the heat source of targets. TV, you'll use during like the daytime because the heat source of a target might blend into the environment from the hot sun. Image auto track, 
forward and aft so this is also not implemented yet it will be shortly so forward would <coughs> sorry forward would activate a gate or auto track and then forward long would activate tracking gates so say there is a SAM for example and you need to manually adjust the gate that's how you would do it and then you want to get rid of that track you hit aft FCR modes again not implemented yet but they will be shortly so we got a uh, ground targeting map we have train profile mode air targeting mode and radar uh, map that pretty much covers what I have on my left uh, HOTAS controls some of them might be on the right stick as well but it's okay alright so now we got the right stick so site slave, this toggles the FCR or TADS if you're using like an acquisition source as your helmet or your iHads, uh, this will slave it to whatever you, uh, whatever you have set. So like if you're using an HMD, you slave it and whatever you look, the TADS will look or the FCR will look at where you're looking. If you're using manual mode, uh, so you're panning the TADS around manually and then you want to go back to the nose of the aircraft, you hit slave and it'll instantly slave it back to the center. Alright, FCR scan size, again, not implemented in the game yet, but they will be. So let's go over it real fast. The right will be wide, which is 90 degree field of view. Aft, which is medium, 45 degree field of view. View, sorry. Left, which is going to be narrow, uh, 30 degree field of view. Then forward, which is zoomed, 15 degree field of view. Weapon action. This is how you're going to select your weapons. So forward is going to be your app. Oh, sorry. Forward will be your gun. Left will be your rocket pods. Right will be your missile or your hellfire. And then if you want, you can select aft. I don't have aft selected because this is air to air mode. We don't have air to air missiles as of yet. All right, next is going to be your sight manual tracker. This is literally just going to be moving your tads up around. So, like left, right, up, or sorry, down and up. Again, that's moving the tads around. Uh, sight select. So, this is going to be your HMDs, your FCR, or your TADS. So forward will be your HMD or your IHADS. Left will be your FCR. Right will be your TADS. Then aft will be your links. So what this will do, this will slave the FCR to the TADS on the site. So say you're looking at a SAM and then you go link and now the FCR slaves over to where the TADS is looking at. Now both are looking at the SAM. Uh, let's see, the weapon trigger. This is on the left hand grip, but it's okay because we're using the trigger. You want to use second detent because it's going to actually shoot the weapon. Uh, linear motion compensator. This is pretty important to have. So what this does, it compensates for the helicopter or target movement. So say uh, you're looking at a target in a hover and he's moving left to right. You want to put the LMC on and you want to adjust a little bit and pretty much it'll track him. Kind of like an auto tracker but not like an auto tracker if that makes any sense. LF, uh, LRFD, so laser rangefinder trigger. Uh, this is second detent. Second detent gives you the range and the guidance. So if you shoot a Hellfire, you hold this down, and the Hellfire will attract the laser the whole way. Then last but least, we have FLIR polarity. So this toggles between black hot and white hot. Whatever preference you have, this will do it. That covers the controls, guys. Hopefully this will keep it simple for you. Um, yeah, good luck. Good hunting. See you next time.